Hey Capricorn, welcome to your April 2019 love reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you guys want to get a personal reading from me, check the description box below. I won't be doing pre-recorded personal uh, video readings at this time, but you can join me in the live chats, the daily live chats, and the weekend to uh, you can ask a question there and get answers to your questions whatever you want to ask or you can join me on the instant go app the links are below to get a reading from me there i do phone calls and texts okay so let's get started with your reading here capricorn sun moon rising or venus and i don't do um reversals okay all right so let's see what the energies are for Capricorn for love. Okay, starting with the Page of Pentacles, crossed by the Eight of Cups. The root of the reading is the World card. This is the Vision Quest Tarot deck. Two of Pentacles in the past, Eight of Swords crowning you. You have the King of Pentacles in your near future. Position of you and your advice is the Six of Pentacles. What's surrounding you, your environment and the other person, let me just get things out of the way here, is the Justice card. Okay. Hopes and fears. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And your outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we'll pull another clarifying card for that. Okay. And I also want to take a look at your love messages from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. Love messages for Capricorn. <clears throat> so I'll take this one. Okay. Separation during this time, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That doesn't mean that it's over. So let's just take a look at the reading and see what's going on here. Your past position is a two of pentacles, okay? So definitely an energy of balancing things out, trying to uh, figure out, make a decision, what's best for you, what's not, but what is what's working in your favor, what isn't, as far as the connection goes with someone in particular that you may have been dealing with. This definitely has to do with a stable partnership, okay? So there was a lot of energy um, of up and down with your person. Just wanna pull one more card for that. King of Swords is here. So some of you definitely could have been dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Um, this person also, just having the energy between the two of you, and oh, so let me just state real quick, if you weren't dealing with an air sign, this is just someone who, a very heady type of person, okay? Um, very logical in their thinking. This person has a, a, a very social life. They, it's, they're always in a social atmosphere or... Um, I, and I feel like really, too, they were kind of maybe roller coastering you or giving you the sense of not knowing <laughs> where you stood with them in the past, okay? I feel like the present energy, you have, well, with the Page of Pentacles, you could be getting some messages. And the message comes to me that from the person who you're either you were connected with in the past, they are having trouble n letting you go. There's a difficulty and it's a struggle to not be with you. And so y I do feel the present energy that's going to come out for you sometime during this month. Um, even though the energy here was of them kind of like being off and on, I feel that... If you have walked away from them or you just decided you weren't, you know, doing this anymore or you just needed to get out, it's definitely coming through to me that 
you're leaving them, which is the separation card here, has had an effect on them. And I feel like you're going to be hearing from them about this. You're going to be hearing that they have, you know, like they suddenly realize how much you mean to them, that kind of energy playing out here. Um, definitely doesn't have to be an air sign, but it can be for some of you, whoever your person is, okay? Um, I feel like in the past they were really basing their decision or that, you know, they weren't, it wasn't like a love, an emotional decision about, you know, their, them being in and out of your life was more like a logical thing. Like they, it could have been a business connection. Someone who was in a position of always communicating. They were in some type of communication position. But even communication with you is that they were trying to balance out their work situation, their finances, things like that. Um, they really just kind of like, I feel like they were having struggles with money too in the past, or they were up and down, back and forth between different jobs. But I'm telling you, I feel strongly that in April, you're definitely going to get some type of communication. Um, they don't want you to walk away from them. And you're going to hear that. It's definitely hard for them. Um, it's almost as if they want you to just be there while they go through this struggle or these changes. And it's even a struggle for you to be done with the connection but I feel like you guys are just like you're like I can't I did I can't do this anymore I really feel like you're just like I can't do this anymore it's too back and forth so you're trying to take like a temporary separation from this person for a while so you can figure out what you're doing you have the world card here and this represents to me at the root of the reading, what's happening with you, like the what's driving you right now is closing the book on this situation, okay? Um, moving forward, moving on. And even though it hurts you and it's not something you want to do, um, I feel like you're a pinball or you've been a pinball and this person's been kind of like, you know, back and forth in and out of your life. And... Some of you want to travel. Some of you are focused on internet communications, that kind of energy. And even with the lotus flower here, just having this energy of detachment and freedom. And this is what I see as your energy playing out. You know, and your thoughts, what's crowning you here is the eight of swords. Um, mentally feeling stifled because of this connection. Mentally feeling stifled, especially when you're now getting messages or receiving a message from them that they don't want you to go or they don't want you to leave. They want you to stay. And it just kind of like, it makes you feel trapped because you have this energy where you want to stay with this person. You want to connect with this person. But it's like you guys just aren't vibing or you haven't vibed together in a long time. There's just been like this energy of, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I just don't see like a lot of emotion here connected coming from their side. But I see here you wanting to move on and them kind of trying to really back in a little because they don't want the separation And it causes you to get a bit confused here. Okay. Coming into the near future, though, is the King of Pentacles. Okay. These two people can be the same for some of you. Okay. Um, just kind of going from the King of Swords energy to the King of Pentacles energy, where they, again, lacking in the emotion however abundant in the sensuality abundant in 
the practicality abundant in having uh, financial stability, which is something back here that they were uh, trying to attain in the past, okay, uh, abundant in security as well. So the energy could be that I feel for those of you who this is the same person, they're showing up in the near future as because I feel they were more blocked back here, they're showing up here in the future as being more stable. If you look at this card, you can see how his sword is right out front and center. Like quite, he was quite blocked in the past in his communication <clears throat> and sharing with you. And now his energy is, you know, he's got his wand, the crystal. He's kind of, he's more open more open to discussing the security of the relationship, the, the process of it growing and becoming more stable. So that message goes to those of you where this is your person, you know, kind of like, I almost want to say shape-shifting. Um, I feel they come through, though. I do. Now, for others, if you know that you're done with this past situation here for others this is someone new coming in for you and i was feeling that very strongly okay this person again the same type of energy more stable more committed ready for commitment reserved a bit quiet has a great sense of humor as well uh kind of like um maybe dry a little quirky that kind of energy so that's Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Now let's just pull a clarifying card. Oh, that just flipped right out. Okay, the Two of Swords. So a decision being made. This person is very thoughtful in the decisions that they make. If it's your person from the past, um, they're really thinking about things. They're going, they're showing up. They're not making a full decision yet about what to do with the relationship, but they are showing up to be what it is that you want them to be or need them to be, you know, as far as um, being stable and grounded in the relationship. Okay. Um, so either way, if it's somebody new or someone from your past, that energy is there for them to be, you know, they're here. They're not going to make any decisions just yet because they want to be 100% sure, but they are showing up to be something that you need. Now, your advice here and in the position of you is the Six of Pentacles, okay? So your advice here is to be generous, to, you know, Sixes always remind me of some type of reconciliation. Um, I feel like this card is saying for you to hear them out, hear what they have to say. If they're showing up to be as what you want them to be, that's very positive. Um, to be understanding that they're, they're not decided 100%, like accept that. But, you know, I feel they want to bring the reciprocity, but to also tell them, you know, when they when they make come back, you may have to say to them, listen, I see you're here. I see you want to be, you know, you really want to try again. And I think that's great. Um, but I really need to see the reciprocity happening. That's all I really need to do. And this person, they're trusting their intuition now about the connection, about the partnership with you and them. Okay, now the outcome, or not the outcome, the environment surrounding some of you could also have a Libra in your periphery here. So we won't jump into signs. Okay, so that's not as important. The justice card is showing me this, your person is definitely going to try to make things right with you. Okay, they, they have this energy, what they're telling you is the truth. So you can believe that. You can trust that. They want to balance things out. That's what the Two of Swords represents here. Balancing things out. Okay. 
And so your person could be, you know, they could work in the legal system, be attached to the legal system in some way. Um, your person could be in school. Um, you know, um, I'm trying to pick up these energies here. I feel like they're softening as well. Okay. But I, uh, you're, so they could be like going to school. That could have a lot to do with um, the reason why there was difficulty in the relationship in the past because they had other commitments that they couldn't give you. And for a lot of you, I, I do feel like it has, it has an energy of, um, it was like a financial thing for them that they really needed to get financially stable. Um, I feel like this person maybe have, uh, has, is on their way to finishing school, graduating. I feel like this person is ready to do the right thing with you. Let me just pull one more clarifying card. I'm sorry for the blur. I'll just show you the cards <laughs> when I pull them up. <coughs> Ace of Swords. Yeah, you, you definitely are going to get communication from them that they are ready to um, straighten things out. They want to overcome whatever these obstacles are. And I feel like this has a lot to do. It's, it's like a wake-up call for them because you are trying to move on like you're making plans you're you're taking steps to move forward in your life you know um i don't feel like um it's an all-out rage with them of it ending it's just basically you saying to them you know let's just take a break focus on the things you need to do i'll focus on the things i need to do and if you're ready to come back you know when you're ready to come back, you can let me know. And that kind of is like a wake up call for them, you doing that. And I feel like they don't, as I said, it's too difficult to, um, there's a, there's a chance they could lose you and they don't want to. So I feel with the Ace of Swords, um, truthful communication, you know, again, <laughs> The only cup card we have is the Eight of Cups, and that's temporary separation, which is what was showing up here, okay? And that's okay. You can have a little separation during this month to figure things out, but you, you're definitely going to get some communication from them about, you know, uh, them saying, please don't give up on me, please don't walk away 100%, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel like that's going to fuel the fire in them. Your hopes and fears, the Nine of Pentacles. So you're definitely hoping to have, you know, this energy here of being uh, financially stable and independent and feeling like you can, you know, take care of things on your own. That energy of um, you're hoping... <laughs> I mean, you, f you don't want to be without this person. I know that there's some connection here that's very strong and that you love very much and you care very much for them. And I feel they do too. Um, but I also feel that you care very much for yourself. And you definitely want to have this energy. You see that? I think that's a peacock. So, I mean, you are definitely looking at other options as well. And, you know, there may be someone who um, is trying to impress you. And it's because you are standing in your value and in your worth. And, you know, I don't feel like you're out trying to <laughs> date a thousand different people. I just feel like you, um, you're attracting suitors and you're hoping to be attracting suitors as well um just because that gives you some kind of sense of you know you had felt in this connection that the connection just affected your self-esteem in some way maybe you didn't get much validation from this person not that you need validation but uh, they, they just weren't very open with you in the past. And I don't feel like they have this strong energy to be emotionally open. Again, I feel this person is heady. They ha your person has more of um, a logical, they come from a place of logic. Um, I mean, they do have romantic overtones with them, but they come from a more place of, you know, 
what's work what's working let's communicate even in the king of pentacles similarities not coming from the heart as much but coming from the senses Okay, and I feel like you just needed some type of confirmation of their emotions and they really couldn't, they just don't really have that in them. It's just not really how they operate. They show it in different ways. Okay, so, um, you know, them coming back to you is that they'll, they'll start showing it through, through sense, their senses, touch, smell, um, all the five senses, okay, but not the deep emotional, you know, aspect, and, you know, it's either just, are you okay with that, or are you not okay with that, I think that the partnership can work, but I just feel like they were more so, they're just always juggling and trying to balance out their work situation, I feel like they made that more of a priority than they did the relationship, which is pretty sad, um, so I do get a sense that they've wanted you to wait for them. And I don't think that you, I feel like the month of April, <coughs> you're just like, you know, it's not a matter of waiting. It's, it's a matter of me living my life to the best of my ability because it's affecting me. I feel trapped in this connection because what I'm asking myself, why am I here? Why am I still here? I mean, yeah, great. We have a, a working partnership but it's lacking in the emotion it's lacking in all of those other things um even some type of security and they do i do feel they want to come and give you that okay so your outcome position here is the queen of pentacles that's your energy here and the six of swords so some type of transition that you're going to be making okay so April is really just about, you know, this is travel, this is moving forward, this is getting out of a situation that's no good. April's really just about you um, separating from them at this time, okay, making the decision to separate at this time. I don't feel that they're going to go with that, and you're going to get a lot of feedback about that from them. Um, there's definitely a wake-up call happening within them. Now, I'm not advising you to separate from your person. <laughs> I'm definitely not advising you to do that. That's entirely up to you. But I do feel like there's a wake-up call coming from them in regards to that. Okay. I also want to pull... Let me just... Let me pull one more card from the Romance Angels in regard to the outcome romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so you may need to take some time to do that this outcome can happen you know it's it's for the entire month but readings are so fluid it could happen in the first two weeks you know and then when we put out the may readings um, that could start the last half of april but i do have the bi-weekly readings, so you can check them out to see what's going on um so let's see i'm going to pull a card from the love oracle deck i think you really need to explore how you feel about this person and to take that little bit of time out they're not going to let you go they're going to try to hold on to you um because they definitely do not want to lose you and but that's for them and so for you you know you will also have to make a decision about what you want to do with this person especially here because this two of swords goes as a decision for you as well so if you know if they come back um trying to be you know in in trying to be more of what you need you still will uh, there's an element here of going within and, and checking intuitive sources <laughs> to see if this is going to work for you or not all right so let me see here Take this embrace through each other you find missing pieces that may be something that you need to focus on during this time what is it about this relationship this connection with this person that you you learn about yourself 
Okay, so it's a really just like a time of healing, the connection between the, two, you know, healing yourself in order to heal the connection between you both. Okay, there's there again, as I was saying, there's pieces missing in this connection. Definitely, there's some things missing here and you have to figure out um, what is missing for them. The missing piece is you. They do not want you to go, but you and they will tell you that. They will reach out to you and say, you know, we have, you know, I'm not going to lose you. Okay, so you'll have to figure out, you know, they're having a wake up call, but is it enough for you? Is it going to work for you? Okay, so I do feel like at the end of uh, possibly the end of this energy, um, You, this is a necessary transition, okay? It's fearful, but it's necessary. And I feel like what's going to happen too, um, you're going to come to realize what needs to change. This could also be a card of um, going back, okay? And embracing each other. You may make the decision at this time you may explore your feelings and, and realize that you know how important they really are to you and this may be a return here as i was saying sixes always remind me of reconciliations and reciprocity you know the back and forth and they may be that light for you so you know there is that energy here playing out a lot of thinking a lot of standing on your own, a lot of reciprocity, a lot of looking at, you know, what you put into the connection, what they put in, and a possible return. Some people think this can be um, like a moving on card, but it, it, it could just be moving on from the separation at the end of the month and returning. Do you know what I mean? Like it's transitioning a bit. Okay, so I feel, I feel like I'm going to title this Capricorn reading a wake-up call for this person. And some of you may have already been, been in like a separation with them for a while. Okay, or, you know, not really communicating as much and not having much of a connection for a little while going on. But I feel like the month of April is really when it just kind of like comes down to the wire. Like somebody says, okay, we got to, I'm done here. You know, I got to go do what I have to do. You know, I need to travel. I've got other things. I need to take care of myself. It's kind of like, a, like it, it gets confirmed in April. And that's when the swoosh comes back from this person, whoever your person is. It could, it could be an air sign. It could be an earth sign. It could be any sign. Okay, but whoever it is, is just lacking in the emotion. So I want you to just pay attention to that more than anything. All right, Capricorn, again, the blur. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful month. And I will see you during the daily live readings and the uh, weekly readings, bi-weeklies. All right, take care. Bye.